Hello fellow Lancers and welcome to the new academic year at California Baptist University. I trust that you are as energized and excited as I am for the start of the 2020 fall semester. The State of the University is a report I present at the beginning of each new academic year at CBU. It is a fall tradition designed to inform the Lancer Nation and other stakeholders about the developments, events, and activities that help shape campus life. It is also a way we track institutional progress from year to year. The State of the University allows us to reflect on the progress of the Lancer Nation and look forward to another productive year. My hope is that this presentation also will inspire you to strive to learn and live your purpose. The State of the University in 2020 is unlike anything we've ever seen. During more than 25 years that I have served as president of California Baptist University, Nothing compares to the impact of the novel coronavirus pandemic. The tremendous disruptions that the world has experienced as a result of COVID-19 affected CBU in dramatic fashion. Before the pandemic, we had never sent students home mid-semester and largely shut down the campus. Remote instruction had never been the primary teaching and learning method at CBU. Never had so many CBU employees worked from home. Never had entire seasons of intercollegiate athletics been canceled. And we had never put off commencement ceremonies and related events that are beloved traditions of the Lancer Nation. Yet these are some of the unwelcome disruptions and countless challenges we have navigated since springtime to protect the CBU campus community. That has been our focus throughout the pandemic. It continues to be our highest priority. I am so proud of the work done by the dedicated CBU faculty and staff who committed themselves to making the best of a difficult situation we all face together. And I am equally proud of the CBU students who adapted to unprecedented circumstances to complete a truly unique academic year. Remote instruction allowed us to continue delivering academic programs during the last five weeks of the spring semester. And until it is safe to fully resume in-person classes, remote instruction will continue to be our primary delivery method. I assure you that we are committed, as always, to provide students a safe learning and living environment. Achieving that will require the commitment and cooperation of everyone in the campus community, wearing face coverings, washing hands, and practicing social distancing. Whether in a lab or studio, office or dining venue, in campus residences or visiting with friends and classmates, we all need to observe these precautions to promote healthy campus life. I trust I can depend on you to do your part. Besides the changes wrought by the coronavirus pandemic, this year the State of the University also recognizes the enormous and long overdue social changes our nation is going through. This spring I issued a call for justice, equality, and an end to racism. In that statement I wrote, the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis revealed anew the horrible legacy of racism and injustice that too long has oppressed people of color in ways that many, including myself, have been unable to comprehend or worse, unwilling to acknowledge. I hope you have read that statement. Today I want to repeat what I stated then, that California Baptist University stands with and supports students, employees, and alumni of color who face the injustice of racism. CBU commits to be a university that opposes racism and pursues the advancement of justice and opportunity for students and employees of color. This summer, I directed that CBU establish a racial equity task force to explore ways that the university can address issues of racial injustice 
and enhance the culture of biblical justice on campus. This will be a continuing focus through the coming year with opportunities to learn more and participate in the process. I want to be very clear. California Baptist University will not tolerate racial discrimination. Rather, we will recognize, celebrate, and draw upon the wealth of racial diversity in the Lancer Nation. We will create community, enhance awareness, and foster greater sensitivity and understanding. We will continue efforts to ensure that students and employees of color feel safe and know that they are respected and that their concerns are heard. The vision of a university committed to the Great Commission unwaveringly inspires what we do at CBU. I sincerely believe that California Baptist University can come through this critical convergence of events stronger than ever. For more than a quarter of a century, we have been building on the vision of CBU as a university committed to the Great Commission. We believe each person is created for a purpose. The Christ-centered educational experience at CBU combines top quality academics with purposeful spiritual and social development opportunities. It is a vision that inspires the dedicated faculty and staff to create a learning and living environment where students can excel and become better equipped to impact the world for Christ. One of the important ways we strive to achieve these goals is through the university's student outcomes known as the Core Four. These are designed to help all students become biblically rooted, academically prepared, globally minded, and equipped to serve. These outcomes are more than just an educational philosophy. They're the driving force behind every academic program that is developed and taught at CBU. We are intentional and unapologetic about integrating a Christian worldview with excellent academics and extracurricular offerings. In addition, CBU strives to foster a relation-based community where students can connect and develop meaningful relationships. Not surprisingly, many in the Lancer Nation find their CBU experiences fuller and more satisfying when they are actively engaged in campus life. Many relationships that were formed here at CBU turn into lifelong friendships. Building relationships is one of the primary goals of the First Year Experience program. It's designed to help students get to know one another, become better acquainted with CBU culture, develop life skills, and learn what is needed to navigate successfully through the college years. Freshman students this fall comprise the class of 2024. Welcome to the Lancer Nation. Delivering degree programs and majors that students want is a key factor to continuing enrollment growth at CBU. Undergraduate students currently can choose from more than 150 majors, minors, and concentrations. Additionally, CBU offers more than 30 master's programs and seven doctoral programs. To help students throughout the university achieve academic success, CBU is committed to offering state-of-the-art learning environments that provide adequate spaces for learning and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. A notable example is the Psychological Services of Riverside that provides training experience for students in the Doctor of Psychology and Clinical Psychology program. The PSR Clinic opened in September 2019 and offers services to the public such as individual, child, family, couples, and group therapy, psychoeducation, psychological assessment, and consultation. This center will affect individual lives for the good of society and is a real value for the Riverside community. Opening this semester is CBU's latest student housing project, Magnolia Crossing, located near the corner of Magnolia Avenue and Monroe Street. The four-story unit features more than 161,000 square feet of living space in two and three bedroom suites that add 540 beds for the growing campus community. CBU continues to receive national acclaim for campus life. Niche.com this year ranked CBU number five in the nation for best college food and number 22 nationally for best college dorms. In the niche rankings for California, CBU earned a number two for best college food and a number eight ranking among best Christian colleges in the state. Provider Contract Food Service continues to oversee popular dining locations across campus, such as the Alumni Dining Commons, Chick-fil-A, and Wanda's Cafe. Specialty cuisines are found in the Mexican-inspired El Monte Grill and the varied dining options offered at Briscoe's Cafe. After opening last year at Lancer Plaza, Couch's Corner once again features the popular Shake Smart, which offers items designed for on-the-go lifestyle. 
Last year also saw the opening of CBU's new main entrance from Adams Street to Lancer Lane, along with the new east parking structure that contains more than 1,450 car stalls. These features combine to welcome visitors and guide them past award-winning facilities, including the CBU Recreation Center, Event Center, and Engineering Building into the academic core of the CBU campus. It's safe to say that no project has brought the Lancer Nation together, figuratively or literally, more than the CBU Event Center that opened in 2017. The multi-purpose arena seats more than 5,000, with room to expand to more than 6,000. It's the largest indoor gathering space on campus. We look forward to the day it once again hosts student orientation activities, chapel services, and commencement ceremonies. As you may know, collegiate athletics have been largely suspended through the end of this year because of the coronavirus pandemic. Nevertheless, CBU is moving forward with its four-year transition to NCAA Division I status. The Lancers' third year in D1 brings the opportunity to compete in the Western Athletic Conference basketball tournaments once competition resumes. CBU built on an impressive 2018-19 debut in NCAA Division I and the Western Athletic Conference with an even stronger showing in year two. Some notable examples include the men's basketball team that finished with a 21-10 overall record and a second place finish in the WAC at 10-6. Milan Aqua Junior Guard was named WAC Player of the Year, NCAA Division I All-Region Selection, and a Lou Henson NCAA Division I All-American. The CBU women's cross-country team finished its season ranked number 30 in the U.S. Track and Field and Cross-Country Coaches Association's National Poll. The women's team placed fifth in the West Region after winning a second consecutive WAC title. Adam Tribble was named WAC Women's Coach of the Year. Annette Samaji also won the individual WAC title and was named WAC Runner of the Year. The Lancer women's soccer team finished the season with a D1 program best, 13 wins and closed out the Western Athletic Conference with a program best 6-2-0 record. The CBU cheer team claimed the United Spirit Association Collegiate Championship for an unprecedented ninth consecutive year. The talented and gifted student athletes at CBU inspire the Lancer nation. We admire not only their determination and passion for competition, but also their success in the classroom. In the past year, 71 California Baptist University student athletes earned academic All-Western Athletic Conference honors. Excelling in the classroom and beyond is a trait shared by many CBU students who produce exceptional creative work, both individually and in teams. Campus publications produced by the journalism and new media and public relations programs gained acclaim at the Baptist Communications Association National Awards Competition. Pursuit Magazine won overall best student entry, and the Banner Newspaper won best overall student publication. During the past year, performance groups from the Shelby and Fern Collinsworth School of Music presented hundreds of concerts. Thousands enjoyed dual performances of the signature CBU Christmas concert. In addition to the arts, academics, and athletics, another pillar of the CBU experience involves developing a service mindset for the communities of inland Southern California and beyond. Opportunities for service and spiritual growth at CBU also come through a variety of spiritual life resources. Chapel and other discipleship and ministry programs are designed to be challenging, engaging, relevant, and life-changing. Multiple service opportunities throughout the year provide additional ways to get involved. Taken together, the many facets of the Lancer Nation in academics, in athletics, and in service help to strengthen CBU's reputation as a premier comprehensive Christian university. Increasingly, that reputation for excellence is being recognized nationally and beyond. For the 15th time, CBU once again was named one of America's best colleges in the latest ranking by the U.S. News & World Report. In addition to CBU's top 40 ranking as a best regional university, CBU Online ranked number 52 in the nation, the highest placement among California colleges. CBU Online also received high rankings for its faculty, including number one rankings for MBA faculty. Recognitions such as these affirm the quality and value of the academic programs that CBU offers in traditional, blended, and online settings. The fall 2020 semester began earlier than in past years, one of many steps taken to mitigate the spread of the novel coronavirus. 
Still, the new academic year remains filled with opportunities designed to continue building on the strong foundation of the past. I encourage you to take advantage of these offerings and experience the fullness of the Lancer Nation. As we launch into this new academic year, my prayer is that your CBU experience will help you understand more clearly what it means to live your purpose and that everything we do will be to God's glory. In closing, I leave you with some inspiring scenes from one of my favorite events at CBU, Commencement. I look forward to congratulating you personally for your academic achievements. Until then, I pray you will enjoy a successful and productive year at California Baptist University, and may the Lord continue to bless.